Me, all you. Okay. So, how many of you have your own car? How many of you wish you had a battery car? Just to like it in the same way. So, today I'm going to tell you why you should all get a Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> so, a big misconception is that Jeeps are only for like rednecks because the Wrangler is the most popular one. Um, I drove a Jeep for three years. I'm not a redneck. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a Jeep for like any need you have. Um, they have trucks, that's not the one from the factory, but they're supposed to come out with a new truck in the next couple years. They have SUVs, they have fast, like perform performance ones, and they have ones that are good on gas mileage. What's that red one? It's a Renegade. Is it really? It's what year? It's, it's, it's They just started it in the uh, last couple years. I I don't like it. I don't like it. So, the biggest reason why you should get one is they're American. The, the Willis Jeep, it's not actually pronounced Willis, but it's pronounced Willis. I'm not sure why, but it is. Um, they made like 700,000 of those between 1940 and 1964. They're like, they're, um, one of the big like influences on World War II. So, and then Ronald Reagan drove one. I would have liked every one of those. Um, and he was like one of the greatest presidents ever. So you should get one. They did. So if you need a truck, they did make one for a couple years. There's not a whole lot of them out there, but they're going to come out with a new model in the next couple of years. It's going to look somewhat like that. Um, it's not really announced yet, but so it should look somewhat like that. If you're a soccer mom, you need an SUV to transport your kids around. They do have them. Uh, it's the Grand Cherokee or the Cherokee. If you want to go extreme, you get a Wrangler like that. That's one of her friends. She drives it every day, and if you can think of my Jeep and how big the tires are on that, you're two inches bigger on that than on mine. So it's pretty extreme. I like it. If you want to go fast, you want to have a performance vehicle. It's called the S Grand Cherokee SRT. Um, the, not really sure how fast it is, but it's faster than a lot of sports cars. So you can go out and be like Mustangs and Camaros and stuff like that. And in the next couple of years, you're going to make one with a Hellcat engine. So it's 700 horsepower. <coughs> the zero is a 60 in three seconds. What's something like that, Rod? Um, current SRTs, right around the $60,000 range. Sure, it's so, going to be fun, too. <laughs> so it's not too bad on price for what it is. Right. Um, and if you get the, the new one coming out in a couple of years, you can beat anybody up if you want. Um, it's faster than a lot of things. So that vet, a vet lines up across from that. You're going to take a vet on that? Yeah. <laughs> Man. Dude, soccer mom. You've got Jeep high. delusions now. <laughs> no, it's an actual stats. And then if you want good gas mileage, because I know that's really important for a lot of people, that one on the left gets 31 miles on the on the it looks European. It does. it does. I mean, it looks like something you drive in Brit British, and you know. That's interesting. And then the, the Grand Cherokee, they offer it with a diesel that also gets 30 miles to be on the highway. They get about high 20s in the city, so not bad for what it is. But it's, it's basically an oversized brick. <laughs> <laughs> so, aero aerodynamics of it, so it's not bad. Um, another big aspect of it is the community. The Jeeps are some of the great best ways to go out and meet people, because there's clubs all over. Um, so they always have meetups like that, and the community just really comes together. During the winter, a lot of groups go out and help people that are stuck in snow. Um, I read a story about how in Detroit, during one of the blizzards last year. They spent all day transporting the um, hospital workers to the hospital in Max so they could actually get to work because of where the blizzard was so bad. And they're just really good for Max.
memories and coming together as a family. Um, my dad is really into it, and he got me into it. So some of my best memories are spending time with them, with the Jeeves. So that, that's where I think we should get a Jeep.